Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we'll be having a closer look at the Frozen Mini 8KS. But before we do that, roll those credits. Right, now, we've been printing with this for a couple of weeks. Um, obviously, our unboxing video you would have seen was released as a video on the launch day of this printer, not as a live unboxing, which we usually do. That's because it was launching after, you know, we'd done everything. But this is Frozen's, um, this is Frozen using all of their technology and and performance and fitting it into a printer which is going to be entry level so it's down in the price range where if you're going to come into the hobby or you want to start with resin for the first time it's not as daunting of a price in order to buy one of these it's still got all of frozen's you know class this is Almost the same as the Mini 8KS. The only difference being, um, this has got a single linear rail. Um, the memory stick, USB, is in the side, not on the front, which is unfortunate because it does mean you've got an extra bit of width on the printer when you have to have the USB in the side. Now, we've actually really enjoyed printing with this, but before we go on to what we've done, let's get a closer look at some of the specs on this. So, obviously this is 8K, which now I feel like most machines really should be 8K at this point now. I don't see why companies should be releasing anything less than 8K, to be honest. So... The printing volume on this is 16.5 by 7.2 by 17. So it's not, it's not a huge build plate on this. This printer serves a particular purpose. You're not gonna be printing a giant model on this, but we'll show you what you can do on this. So as I said, it's got a single linear rail and the USB on the side. Now, we printed all of our stuff, Frozen's 8K resin. I really love this resin, to be honest. The details that you get in this are amazing, personally. What we've done is we've done a selection of different prints. We've also done a time lapse, so you can see this printing, which we'll cut to now. There you go, so you can see that that was a bust that was printed on this, and it did pretty much max out the build plate. Um, but nevertheless, printed really well. So before we go any further, let's get a closer look at what we did. So to start off with, we've got this bust. Now this bust is from Focus Mint. He does some amazing busts. Now you can see, Quality that's come out on this, really good. You've got normal face on one side 
and you've got rotting face on the other side. Now, you can see as well in this material, this has printed really well. Is it getting in focus? It's printed really well. What we'll do is we'll add some close-up photos of these so that you can see them a little bit better. But that came out really well. Next, we have got some of the Warhammers. Now, this is a Chaos Titan. It's large. Obviously, this was not printed in one piece. This is actually made up of 22 pieces. Now, granted, you couldn't stack the build plate, so it was done in quite a few prints, but just goes to show you don't have to print small because it's a small build plate. Next, we did some miniatures. Now, this is 10 of these we did. They all came out really well. There's a lot of detail in these. And each one of them is different. And these are also from the, uh, the Warhammers. Now, we don't know where we got these files. We got them quite a while ago. Um, so, I can't point you in the direction, unfortunately. But, let's get that in focus. You can see these are highly detailed and they came out really well. So, as you can see, these came out really well. Um, the miniatures are highly detailed and with 8K resin, um, you'll be able to see on the close-up photos we do, like the skin texture on these, it's amazing. They weren't printed on the bases, printed all the bases separately, just put a build plate of 10 bases on there, whacked them off, no problems at all. Characters were all done in five, so I did a build plate of five, second build plate of five, they came out amazing. The Chaos Titan. This is really cool. <laughs> right. um, so it's in like 22 pieces. Um, each, all of them printed really well. The base wasn't done on this, only because I already had this size base loaded up on another printer from something else I've done, so I just reprinted it. Um, so that's why that's in like a greeny color. That's a green, a clear green, and I think maybe a gray mixed together. It's a mixture of bottled bits that are left. But it just goes to show, just because a build plate is small, you don't have to just print small things. Any models that go together in parts, this is more than capable of doing. Granted, I could have done this four times the size. I could have used the Mega 8K and I could have done this, I don't know, this sort of size. But that's, that's not this printer. This printer is for people, especially um, tabletop gamers who are printing minis. This printer will just turn them out all day long. No problems. It just goes one after the other after the other. We have had no fouls on this. I tell you, we had one foul, and it wasn't the printer's fault, it was James's. We printed the uh, Focus Mint Bust twice. First time, printed perfectly. Uh, James took it off the build plate and uh, dropped it on the floor and smashed it. So this is the second Focus Mint Bust <laughs> that we've done. But, like, if you're if you're in, into printing busts or painting busts or whatever, that is a great size. You know, for an, for an entry level printer at an entry level cost, you're not gonna be disappointed with the quality this printer is turning out. Especially if you're using 8K resin. 
if you use if you combine the 8k resin with this printer the quality is amazing this is going to be going into my lineup as you know i've gone completely resin now i haven't got any fdm printers um the only thing i'm a little disappointed on is green like i've got a lovely orange aesthetic with frozen stuff in my workshop this is green like i know it's different probably to differentiate between this and the mini 8k but um it's gonna stand out but you know it's not the end of the world i don't mind having a green hood when a printer prints at this quality so there is a link in the video for if you want to go and buy one of these it's not an affiliate link we won't get anything for it it's just a link so that you can get on there and you can grab one of these and if you're thinking about moving into resin from fdm printing or you're new to the hobby this has got all frozen's best bits in a price that means at entry level you're not worried about breaking the bank you're not thinking what if i go out and spend five six seven eight hundred a thousand pound on a printer and it's not for me at this price it's it's going to draw people in this is a gateway this is like a gateway drug into the mighty 8k or the mega 8k this is this is to get you hooked once you're hooked you're then going to think i want to go bigger and that's when Frozen are going to be like, well, this is what we have. And again, we've, we've now, we haven't got the Mini 8K. But I've, I've got this, I've got the Mighty, I've got the Mega, I've got the Wash and Cure Station. Out of all the resin printers we've tested, Frozen for me, have produced the most reliable print after print printers for me that's why almost all my printers are frozen um, don't get me wrong there are other great printers we've got the gk2 it's an amazing printer we've got the any cubic m3 max great printer but for me it's frozen and this is a welcome addition to my workshop. It's going to get some use because it's going to be turning out lots of minis. So, if you're on the fence, don't. Just grab yourself one of these printers. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.